so now we are doing exercise 4.2 question number nine question number nine the question says in countries like britain and usa in countries like usa and britain the temperature is measured in fahrenheit whereas in countries like india it is measured in celsius i think celsius spelling yeah the linear equation that converts fahrenheit to celsius is below so you know thermometer right so there is the measurement of temperature how hot is a body so it is measured either in fahrenheit or degree celsius in india we use celsius okay and in usa and britain they are using fahrenheit right so there are two measures it's like inches and centimeter you know right inch 5 inch 6 inch and 10 centimeter 20 centimeter like that they are different units both right but we can convert from one to another right so draw the graph of the above linear equation so this is our linear equation we need to draw the graph first let us do that so tabulation for f is equal to 9 by 5 c plus 32 i hope i'm writing correctly so 9 by 5 c plus 32 yeah now i need to draw the table for this one right so this is the table and if i draw a line here and this first is for fahrenheit and this is for celsius okay now or i can draw celsius first and fahrenheit here same thing okay anything you can do anything so fahrenheit is equal to 9 by 5 into c plus 32 so when c is equal to let us take okay the trick to take is let us take from this question so temperature is 40 degrees celsius 113 degrees celsius 0 degrees celsius so let us take first 0 degrees celsius when c is equal to 0 degree so f will be equal to 9 by 5 into 0 plus 32 so 9 by 5 into 0 it is 0 plus 32 so when c is 0 fahrenheit also 0 uh, fahrenheit is 30 0 plus 32 it is 32 right so fahrenheit will be 32 let me write down 32 here yeah next when c is let us take the next number that we can see here 40 degrees celsius right so let us take c is equal to 40 when c is 40 degrees celsius then fahrenheit will be 9 by 5 instead of c in the formula we are putting 40 plus 32 5 8 the 40 8 into 9 9 8 the 9 8 the 72 i think so 8 9 the 72 plus 32 2 plus 2 it is 4 7 8 9 10 104 degree fahrenheit so 40 degree celsius will be 104 degree fahrenheit now next when okay next one if the temperature is 113 from here let us take fahrenheit as 113 okay you can take any number okay i'm taking so that it will be easy for me to calculate later on okay you can take any number and draw the graph drawing graph is simple only like before we have done you can do anyway now 32 let us transfer this side. instead of f we are putting 113 now okay we're putting f is equal to 113 okay let us find out c so in order to find out c 32 you transfer this side it will be 113 minus 32 is equal to 9 by 5 into c 113 minus 32 3 minus 2 it is 1 11 minus 3 okay 11 minus 3 it is 8 which will be equal to 9 by 5 and c so c will be equal to 5 will come this side and multiply so 81 into 5 and 9 will go and divide this side so it will be divided by 9 9 9 the 81 8 9 5 the 45 so when 113 fahrenheit then it will be c will be 45 okay let us take all this and draw the graph so when it is c is 45 0 okay now let me take the color of the pen let me take as black okay now uh, this is so let's say let us keep this one for c and this is for fahrenheit this is for negative c and this is for fahrenheit ds and let me not write a minus c let me have cds okay now let me take 10 here 20 here 30 here 40 50 60 70 okay but if i take till 70 i have till 113 degree right 
so let us take 2020 each okay let us take 120 uh, 2020 so this will be 20 this will be 40 this will be 60 this will be 80 100 120 and 140 same thing here this will be 20 40 60 80 100 120 and 140 same thing here minus 20 minus 40 minus 60 minus 80 minus 100 minus 120 minus 140 same thing here minus 20 minus 40 minus 60 minus 80 minus 100 minus 120 okay now celsius it is zero fahrenheit is 32 let me change the color of pen once again let me take this one yeah celsius is zero fahrenheit is 32 so celsius it is zero so celsius zero is here and fahrenheit it is 432 right so fahrenheit is where is my graph okay here is my graph so celsius it is zero and fahrenheit it is 40 and uh, no, 32 20 30 32 something here right so this will be the point so this will be 0 and 32 okay 20 and 40 and 32 will be something somewhere here okay i cannot draw the exact because my graph is a little bit smaller unit so here also i can add on 20 uh, one scale is equal to 20 units one scale is equal to 20 units okay one scale from here to here it is 20 okay next let me draw the graph next one is 40 and 104 when c is 40 when c is 40 c is 40 here and it is 104 so y will be 104 so f will be 104 100 and 120 so 104 will be something somewhere here so uh, let me keep this one as the point so this is 40 and 104 okay next 45 and 113 c is 45 so c is 45 so 45 will be somewhere here and f is 113 so this is 45 here and fahrenheit is 113 so 104 is here so somewhere 113 will be here so let me take somewhere here okay so this is the point for 40 what is the point 45 and 113 45 and 113 okay i'm taking this point and after this you join the points okay so points will be straight so for me i don't know why, why it is crooked i haven't drawn properly i think maybe so the line will be straight one okay i cannot draw the straight one use scale and draw properly okay and draw the line and something like this the line will go like this okay i cannot draw this make it straight okay and join all these two points all those things draw properly in a graph i hope you can get all those things now this is my graph ab okay for f is equal to 9 by 5 c plus 32 for this one now that's all graph draw the graph of the above linear equation we have drawn the graph now we need to answer the question from the graph so if the temperature is 40 degrees celsius what is its measure in fahrenheit so when it is 40 degrees celsius celsius this is celsius right it is 40 what is the measure in fahrenheit so measure in fahrenheit is this point this point in fahrenheit it is 104 so i can write down for number one for number one it is 104 degree fahrenheit number two next so what is the next answer next answer will be what is the wait 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 if the temperature is in 113 fahrenheit if the temperature is 113 fahrenheit okay this is 113 fahrenheit then what will be the measure in celsius so 113 fahrenheit 113 fahrenheit is somewhere here we have taken so this is 113 right it is 45 so we have written down when it is 113 it is 45 that's why we found out right like this right 45 degree celsius when it is 113 it is 45 when it is 40 it is 104 now next one 
if the temperature is 0 degree celsius if the temperature is 0 degree celsius what is its measure in fahrenheit degree okay and if the temperature is 0 fahrenheit what is its measure in celsius now if the temperature is 0 degree celsius if the temperature is 0 degree celsius measure is 32 here right so roman number 3 it is 32 degree fahrenheit and and if the temperature is 0 degree fahrenheit and if the temperature is 0 degree fahrenheit so instead of fahrenheit put 0 is equal to 9 by 5 into c plus 32 32 you transfer this side it will become minus 32 i think i'm making this very tough for you i'm sorry for that <laughs> i'll find out how to find out how to taste this little bit simply also okay if you find it difficult please tell me i'll find it easier way also so 5 to the 10, 5 to the 15, minus by 9, and 3 to the uh, 9, 3 to the 9, 3 to the 15, so minus 50 by 3. If I divide minus 3 to 50, 3, 1 the 3, and 2, 0, and 3, 6, the 18, and 2, and point here, and have I done any mistakes so 13 into 5 5 to the 10 okay sorry sorry 5 to the 10 it is 160 here sorry so it will be 60 divided by 3 so 60 divided by no 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 wait 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 I've done mistakes here I don't know why am I doing too much mistakes I don't understand so 9 5 to the 10 5 to the 15 16 divided by 9 so I cannot divide so 9 to 160 9 1 the 9 and here it is 7 0 9 9 5 the 45 9 7 the 63 and here it is 7 again point so 9 7 the 63 and 7 7 like this right so i can write down 7 7 is 17.8 so what have i done here instead of 7 if it is more than 5 here so i can increase here 1 and i can write down 17.8 so this is degree celsius so what have i done here is actually i have to find out from graph okay actually i have to find out from graph when is fahrenheit is zero what is the angle what is the measure here but since my graph is not straight if a graph is straight you'll find that somewhere here okay this point will lie somewhere here but my graph is not that accurate so what have i done to find the answer is instead of fahrenheit if, if instead of fahrenheit f okay in this equation f i have put a zero and i found out the value of c okay what have i done instead of f0 and found out the value of c c c which is minus 660 by 9 which is minus 17.78 or 17 minus 17.8 anything you can write down so that's all i hope you understood if not if you find any difficulty or if i have complicated anything please do in the write in the comment below i'll be happy to correct okay and if you find if you think any easier method than this one so please do write in the comment below i will try my level best to change next time when i do this question and roman number four last one so find the temperature for which fahrenheit and the celsius reading are the same so fahrenheit and celsius reading are the same means if you look here in the graph you'll come and see here that this is 40 here minus 40 here and it is minus 40 here so both they are minus 40 minus 40 celsius and and you'll see here they are meeting at this point right minus 40 minus 40 so this point minus 40 and minus 40 both they are same so the question is asking find the temperature for which fahrenheit and the celsius reading are the same so temperature will be 40 right degree okay you can say 40 degree celsius or 40 degree fahrenheit or you can just write down minus 40 degree so it's and this is also minus sorry okay so that's all i hope you understood if not please do write in the comment below i will be happy to correct myself and if you find any easier method please do write in the comment below thank you so much we will meet in the next video